this project basically needs these parts. In addition, I will use these parts. First, let's find the vibration motors. Remember that some game controllers only have one motor, and you can also buy these motors online. Now I use a PVC pipe to make the motor mount bracket. Find something smaller than the motor, like this. jumpers from the motor driver. So if you only use this pedal vibration, you can install it like this diagram. But if you use multiple devices like SIM dash, gauges, and RPM LEDs, you can't power up this all through the Arduino. You have to use external power to run this. So that's why I am using this car charging adapter. These chargers usually support both 12 and 24 volts. So it doesn't matter if you are using a 12 or 24 power supply. So this is how I connect this. Now I separate this eight-way ribbon wire then solder one of these wires to the motors. Now we're going to make this part. This part can power up your other devices. Like this. I solder one male jumper wire to the negative line. And this wire connect to the Arduino. to install this all.
perfect. cable ties to attach these wires. Now connect the Arduino to the PC. OK, now install and open Arduino IDE. Go to the tools and select your device. Now select this COM port. Then click the upload button. Now go to the SIM hub. If you don't know how to install a SIM hub, watch this video on my channel. Okay, now go to the Arduino section. Choose your device. Select port. And tick this. Now scroll down and find the motor driver. Enable the Shake It driver. The diagrams are also in this order. Now click the Upload button. Now go to the Shake It Motors panel. Enable the effects you want. Then go to the Motors output. You can test your motors in this test button. Now turn on the effects related to the previously enabled. Here, we set up which motor should give the feedback for the related effects. I will balance all the effects power from this bar. Also inside this effect has advanced settings. You can test the effect how feedback gives you. Now select the game you want to play. I forgot one thing to disable this static wind effect. Because of this, the motors are always running. And as you play, you can see what effects are running right now. So in this way, you can adjust the effect settings as you want. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and gaming content.